back with episode 3 of Resident Evil 2 from the Nose Egg Guys. Yeah, we're, we're back. Um, so last episode I said that this was the easiest puzzle in the game. Do you, uh, do you know what to do? Not yet. But I, I will say though, uh, since the last time, I have learned how to use the controls. So it's easier now. A little bit. Yes, yeah, something is written on the mountain. Uh, mounting. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. So, so do you have an idea of what to do? I'm assuming I have to get light of some sort to shine upon the soul. Uh, kind of, sort of, the thing. So you see how, well... You see the two um, statues, how they're facing, they're back to do back. I, do I have to face them towards it so they look at the soul? Mm-hmm. So, here's the question. Oh, yeah, Antonio got the controls now, so. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Don't push it too far against the wall, though, because then you, you'll get fucked. I think you should be good. All right, where? So you, you know how to solve this puzzle. Keyshawn fucking did it backwards. You put them facing the wall instead of facing each other. And the whole time. Oh, oh, so, oh, okay. You see where you gotta put them? Yeah, there you go. No, keep, keep pushing them. You see the indent on the wall? You gotta get it there and it'll lock in place. I understand. I, I am a detective. Kinda, yeah, you're a cop. Keyshawn did it backwards, so he made he um he made the the statues facing the walls, and then he did it again where he pushed one too far against the wall so he couldn't push it out. <laughs> so he had to do this puzzle like three times. And he was like, Oh, this is the easiest thing. This is the easiest puzzle in the game. Like, oh yeah, buddy? In between recording sessions. Oh, did you fuck up too? I think so. Can you push it out? Or is that it? Damn. Oh, hold on. Oh, wow, yeah. Let's push it backwards. Pushes it into the wrong wall. <laughs> <laughs> Pushes it against the wall so you can't take it out. If you hold square, you move a little faster. Nice. Yeah, this is a fucking struggle and a half to do when you're <laughs> fucking dying, you know? <laughs> I think we're in the caution zone. Yeah, the last time we left off, you healed with the green herb, and uh, we should be in the caution zone. Oh. <laughs> nice. Never mind. We did heal up, but then I think something happened. So oh yeah, I got hurt, and then I saved, so that heal did nothing. Yeah, remember I told you some, some saves are like worthless? Like... It's good that you save, but it's also bad. And for reasons like that. Yeah. There you go. You got the, the red jewel. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, you fucking one. Give it to me. Oh yeah. Grab that jewel. Nice. Yes, I will take it. Got two jewels. Now you can go and progress. Did you know that the reason for these doors being, you know, like it is, is because it's a loading screen? Mm-hmm. I figured, yeah. I think that's pretty clever. Oh, shit. Shoot them. R1 and then X. Oh, shit. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, I'm oh. dead. Oh no. 
Shoot him a bunch. Can I shoot him now or? Uh, you look down. Mm. Oh shit! This used to be terrifying in 1998. Oh shit! That aim down. Yeah, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Yeah, you can tell if they're dead with, by the pool of blood that that's around them. Oh my god, now you're like super danger zone. But it's okay, and there we get a healing item. In here? Mm-hmm. It's easy. Take my money. But I'm I'm need. Need. Yeah, she's I'm driving. Friend indeed. Oh, I should have gone there. Way all the time. Dum, 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 dum. I don't know the last word. Take my money. Shout out to Yeezy. We heard yeah. that new song during our little break between recording sessions. Easy. I wonder what happened to Pusha T. He cut another dude off his songs. Yeah, I wonder if he told him why this time. Yeah. Marksman contest winner, Chris Redfield. Mm-hmm. So he knows that Chris Redfield is a person in this universe. It's canon. It's, it's canon it's now. Yeah, that they somehow cross paths. They don't They don't actually cross paths until, spoiler alert, Resident Evil 6, which is crazy. Oh, click that fucking desk like 50 times. I swear to God. Here we go. Might have to do a little fast forward and later, but trust me, it's worth it. Keep going. Trust me, it's worth it. Keep it going. I'm gonna get a fucking Klondike bar out of this. Oh, you're gonna get something good. I, I promise you. Keep going. We're almost there. Do you feel it? Mm hmm. Keyshawn did this, so we have to do this for you, Keyshawn. In your lost file. Keep it going. I like how this walkthrough of Resident Evil 2 is. There you go. Yes. Boom! Cool. That's fucking stupid. (laughs) (laughs) A little bit. (laughs) What were you saying? This playthrough of Resident Evil is what? It's gonna just be for Keyshawn. Pretty much. Like, now I have to fucking progress to where he was, at least. Still never texting me back. Yeah, just walk around the office. I think you checked that already. No? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a replica. A replica, what the fuck? Yeah, this is a police station, I guess. It's not a labyrinth or anything. I, it'd be cool if the police stations were kind of like this, like a maze, you know? Um, you get lost in there. You gotta solve puzzles and shit. <laughs> Just all police off, uh, police departments are like this. Yeah. I mean, hey, I guess the robbers or the the criminals wouldn't be able to escape so fast, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is diary, August eighth. I Dear talked diary. to the chief today <laughs> once again, but he but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. Imagine he's writing this on his bed, like on his belly, yeah, with his, his fucking, feet kicking yeah, up. His feet kicking up. <laughs> but the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any uh, incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella empo- employees. Or since Umbrella <laughs> employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. Dear I saw a cute boy the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy said he liked me. I wonder if he means like me or likes likes me. <laughs> We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. 
August 24th, with the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to the case. Umbrella has begun research of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. And fuck you. I'm out, bitch. Peace. Claire is the girl. You know, the other girl. Is that a unicorn medal? Mm hmm. That's real cool. And then you peel it and there's chocolate on the inside. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine that's how you get health. Leon! No, no, no. Claire! Awesome. It's good to see you're still among I the thought, living. I thought he just, like, grabbed her tit. Like, it's been <laughs> so good to see you. I missed these. <laughs> Cops a feel. Don't worry, I'm a cop. <laughs> I'm a cop, I have to do this. Found your brother's diary. I didn't read it or anything. There's no but reason for sounds pretty stay any fucking stupid. <laughs> Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. Huh, I guess. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Nice. She didn't heal you, right? Nope, you're still dying. Go to your left. And then the left again, around that corner. You are dying. Yeah, press X on that. The purse. No, no, no to your right, yeah. The epic purse. And now you can heal yourself. Back out the, out the danger zone. I'm in the fine zone. Oh yeah, we hella fine. Mm -mm -mm. Look at me, Mr. Fine. Wait, go to that closet. <clears throat> Just so fucking fast. So fucking fast. Speaking of fast, did you guys know that Sonic the Hedgehog is fucking black? Yeah. He's African American. Steve Urkel, baby. Literally, he is Steve Urkel. Did I do that? Yeah, the animated show of Sonic the Hedgehog, the voice actor, is Jamal White. So he's white, black, and blue. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. He's a uh, POC, if you, if you would like to say. So am I. You are a POC. Person of color. Oh yeah, shotgun. Take that shit. That's why, Hell yeah. That's why I call a fat cop. Oh yeah, RPD, RPD's nuts. You what? You what? You what? You what? You what? Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Where are we going? Where are we going? Going um, through this door. I don't know where we're going. Try going left. Yeah, what's that way? Sick. How are you liking the controls? I'm getting used to it. Still fucking would love to do without it. Right? It feels just normal. Yeah. But I get it is a PlayStation 1. I don't want people to be like, yeah, you fucking crybaby bitch. I'm like, I get it. I understand. It's old. They didn't come out with the analog sticks until PlayStation 2. And that's when the controller became superior. Yeah, it did. I believe the PlayStation 2 controller, the DualShock 2s. I think whoa. that's the best one. That and the GameCube controller are the best controllers. Really? Yeah. I think the Xbox 360 is the best controller. Eh, I think the Xbox One controller is better than the Xbox 360. Really? Yeah. Nah, I think it's a little worse. Cause just because it's smaller, like I feel like the 360 controller is just the perfect size. Because remember in the fucking early days of the fuck Xbox, the original Xbox, that big giant monster controller? Hmm. Yeah, fuck that. That was ridiculous. You've been this way. Yeah, it's this fucking key. You gotta go back the way we came. You think it's in that office? Or no. Uh, Keep going down the hall. Yeah, that way. Yeah, this game, uh, I don't know if you noticed by now, but it's a lot of running back and forth. I can tell. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we go this way. Do we go in here? Uh, it might be locked. 
Yeah. Figured. Yeah, keep going. Now down those stairs. Click X. Can't do it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real quick, you might want to switch to the shotgun. It's triangle to open your menu. Here we go. Equip. And then when they get close to you, that's when you're going to want to aim up. Aim up. Upwards. Now it's fire. There you go. Oh. Nice. Wasted shot. Boom! Oh, sick. You got the, 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 the lady. Cool. Alright, now you can just go down. Uh, go left in that little corridor. I feel like I'm walking you through this game too much. Just play. I'll talk about other shit. Fucking... This was one of the first fucking games that really scared the shit out of me. I think I said that earlier in an episode. But, um... Yeah, this shit used to horrify the fuck out of me. Like, I didn't fucking play it until I was like a teenager again. I can't carry any more stuff! You got... Your pockets are full, man. But it's okay, if you go in that room... You can use that, and we get the goods, you know what I'm saying? Trust me. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Boom! Maybe, no, this is a safe room, so no, no boo butt, uh, no, no boos and, and hollerings. No. Yippin' him. Yappin's. Yeah. Just Safe and quiet and nice and peaceful in here. Go in that, that. Oh, well, yeah, you could push it away. I don't know what you, what you should put away, though, to be honest with you. Do I need the film? We could actually use that in here. What? You you need that. That's for the main hall. The gems? I don't know. You might want to put those away. <laughs> Decisions. Set. And in that next room, you can use the the, the film. Hey yo. What? Yeah, just, oh. yeah. It looked like a door, right? I uh, did. <laughs> Oh, you gotta do it from your inventory. Use. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's 18, so it's okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Seriously, she's 18. That's what we click. Film D, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Label that shit on purpose. Fucking Leon Scannity. They knew, they knew what they were doing with that. Press the desk 50 times. Somebody was hiding that. That red light is in here because it's a dark room. It's his mood light. Now. <laughs> is that in your files now or is that still an item? Oh, word. I think there's another film right there next to the typewriter. You see it? Oh, word. Got it. Oh, are we saving? I figure since we got those two new ones, does right. it take two or does it? It takes take one. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Save over that one. Yeah. Okay, guys. I feel like we keep keep going a little longer. Do spice it up this one. Yeah. Do some cool. Let's go out with a bang. What do we do? We solved the puzzle this episode, and then we got the jewel. 
Oh, this puzzle. We have puzzle time. We got we got the jewel. The the you know the, the looking into the soul, gazing into the soul. Oh yeah, let me get this. And you can combine those to make a fat ass blunt. Oh, dude. Yeah, let me fucking snoop doggy dog this shit. Real quick. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. That's that definitely shit a blunt. You should put some things away though before you go. I thought I wasn't putting this stuff away. No, you can put it in your ink ribbon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Oh, shit. Go on in here. Come on. Open up. Now open up the trunk. Nice. Can and I then I think we're good, right? Yeah. Look quick. Oh yeah. You got this. Do you know where to go? No. No? So <laughs> Okay. Am I going back the way I was or uh right, I gotta find a key, right? Yeah, go left. I was say through that door. Wait, go, uh, I was about to say, go down the hall. I don't know if there's anything more down that hallway, but fuck it. Is it, I think the liquor might be here. So. You might have to book it. Pop of that. <laughs> I don't wanna stay away from the windows. That scared the shit out of me as a little boy. I remember that. Imagine that playing and then BAM! Oh my god. That's alright. They're gonna be there forever though. Here too, so be careful. Ima oh. Imagine this in 2021 graphics, bro. So fire. Or 2020 graphics, I think it was. And then they remastered Resident Evil 3. Which is even awesome. Man. But what's fucked up is that they remade Resident Evil 2 and 3 in like over the shoulder type. You know what I mean? So it's like... Uh, not like this. Yeah, so it was kind of like, you know, in Gears, where it's over yeah, the shoulders. So yeah, it was like that. Third person. Yeah. But when they remade Resident Evil 1, oh, the liquor's here. So you're going to have to dip. Oh, you could combine those as well. Squares to run. That way? Yes. That's oh, fucked oh. up. That's fucked up. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh my god. Yeah, when they remade Resident Evil 1, the first one, it was like this. Which I thought it was really cool. They just upped the graphics like a billion. And when they remade it, they remade it for um, GameCube originally. That's cool. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. Resident Evil 4 is supposed to be... Uh... Uh, GameCube exclusive. Yeah, and then I think like a year later it dropped for, um, for like PlayStation or yeah. Xbox or something. Yeah, it was supposed to be a part of the uh, Capcom 5 on the GameCube and the Capcom 5 was five exclusive games from Capcom. Only four out of the five were made and that was Resident Evil 4, um, Beautiful Joe, PNO7, <laughs> and another game I can't think of the name of right now. I want Beautiful Joe. I did not do that. You gonna combine the herbs? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, fat dude, ass, Jesus dude. Christ. That's dude, a big fat ass, ass doobie. doink. <laughs> Leon's getting right. He said, fuck it, it's the end of the world. I don't yeah. care if I'm a cop. Whatever. 
There's nobody here anyway. Look, and it says no smoking on the sign. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, fuck out of here with that bullshit. Who's gonna stop me? Yeah. You? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sign? Pulls his Glock on Marvin. <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Do you gotta go that way? Dude, I don't fucking oh, know. Oh, no, I know which way you gotta go. Go back to the center of the room. Right there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Unicorn, unicorn. Fuck. Yeah, you gotta do it from the menu. 1998 be like... Unicorn metal. <laughs> Give me that fucking key, bitch. Boom! Yeah, we got the precinct key. Bam! Hell yeah, it's gonna go open up everything. And I think with that, it'd be a good time to call this an episode. I wish I could like zoom in on his face. On his beautiful face? On his beautiful 2D PlayStation 1 face? Um. I mean, you can see his face if you go in your menu. Gross. Okay, well, do your outro, and I'll bob his head. <laughs> Alright, guys. With episode three, that's a wrap. And in episode four, we're going to progress even further in the labyrinth of the Resident Evil 2 Police Department. So, with that, goodbye. Goodbye.